Good morning, it's a Tuesday morning, it's uh, 20 past 11 here in Inverness. I hope everyone's well. I'm going to speak a little bit today about uh, Law 2. Law 2 in the 12 Hidden Laws of Performance. And uh, Law 2 in the 12 Hidden Laws of Performance is all about creating a positive vibe. So Law 2 is positive thoughts generate positive outcomes so it's about creating creating the feeling within yourself that um, allows you to train play live your life well now we're talking about um, you know your thinking there and if you imagine every day most people have on average 60,000 thoughts you know sometimes more sometimes less some are more th thoughtful than others some of the thoughts are amazing and uh, some of them are not so amazing, I'm sure. But what happens is, as well as generating positive or positive habits in our life, what tends to happen is we actually have thinking habits as well. We learn to think certain ways and certain ways become habitual in terms of we thinking so so maybe uh, I'll give you an example in terms of football so you might think oh you know what I'm quick you know I'm quick when I'm on the ball and that is a belief about yourself but it's something you probably re repeat to yourself in your head you know you're saying oh what someone says what your your strength you say oh I'm quick I'm quick but also you will have negative habitual thoughts so you might have negative uh, habitual thoughts which might be oh no I don't like playing in the rain which is a bit of a challenge if you're in Scotland so you might have something like that and I'm just making this up you know I don't like playing in windy conditions I don't like playing in, against this is a classic one coaches say this as well as players I don't like playing against that type of team because they don't like us play don't let us play now, why would they, you know, if you're a ball playing team and they're not as skillful, why would they let you play your game? Right? So maybe a habitual pattern you get to start thinking about as a coach is, oh, you know what, we'll have to play them again, we'll have to play that type of, of team. Now, the point about this law that positive thoughts generate positive kind of um, outcomes is. That, and it's not about positive thinking all the time, which is impossible, by the way. No one can think positively the whole time because negative thoughts come in. The distinction is how quickly you can let go of the negative thoughts. So when I'm saying about positive thoughts generate positive outcomes, what I'm speaking about is when you feel good in your body, and I'm not speaking kind of all happy clappy the whole time, but I'm speaking when you feel positive in your body, either confident or focused or happy and enjoying it, you tend to do things better. So you tend to play better when you're confident. You tend to play better when you're part of a team you love to be part of. You know, or on the opposite side, you know, you might say, you know what, we're not going to let them beat us. But you're taking that almost negative energy and you're transferring it and you're using it in a positive way. So, positive thoughts generate positive outcomes. And this is almost something that, if I hold this through, I'll look to create a positive feeling in my body and I'll approach things a bit better a bit differently than if I'm in a negative frame of mind. So if you think of when you're in a negative frame of mind, maybe you're a bit tired. So tiredness is a good example of this. So when we were tired, the great American football coach, Vince Lombardi said this, fatigue makes a coward of us all. So when you're tired, you don't quite go to round the cone. You'll try to, you'll try to kind of stop six inches for the line when you're meant to touch it and run back. You'll not quite sprint to cover the player, you know, that's going back because you're knackered, right? So fatigue makes a coward of us all, means that we'll tend to not do the right things when we're really tired, if we don't watch, if we don't watch. So this law about positive thoughts generate 
positive outcomes isn't about constant positive thinking. It's about the realisation that my thinking, how I think, affects how I feel. So when I'm thinking, you know what, I can't wait to go out and train. That thinking creates a good feeling in my body and all the positive chemicals are created and then I approach my training in a different way than if I think oh god I know this is going to be hard oh I'm dreading this so if I approach training and that my body tenses up so my thinking affect negatively how I feel and then I turn up and maybe I'll, I'll work my way out of that feeling but to start off I might be a bit sluggish or a bit tense on the ball or might you know just not turn up as well as I could so positive thoughts generate positive uh, outcomes. It's about you realising your thinking affects how you feel and how you feel <coughs> affects what you do. And you taking responsibility more than anything else, folks. You taking responsibility for how you feel in your body and creating your own positive vibes in your, in your body. Okay? You thinking, do I know how I want to feel in order to train or play my best okay so remember this remember this when we're talking about it what's the thoughts that get you in a good place and what's your negative energy sappers so it's a wee exercise to do just now if you're listening to me you can do it just now or if you're catching this on replay you can do it a bit later what are the environments that annoy you or what's the environments that don't get the best out of you you know write that down what is the people the places what do you do you know when your energy is sapped right so write a few energy sappers down now right on the other side is what is the environments that you create what's the environments that you're in who's the people you want are around when you feel really good okay so your wee exercise when we're doing it is to minimise the energy sappers and maximise the energizers. But you're taking responsibility for it. You know, you're not saying, oh, if only they weren't like this, so if only they weren't um, talking to me that way. You take responsibility to creating your own positive vibe in your body. Okay? Because the classic one is, you know, we, we put the emphasis on someone else. Or, if only I had new boots, yeah? If only we had better training. If only he wouldn't speak to me like that. So that's an excuse culture. We're always looking for an excuses. So we want to minimise that. Us take responsibility for our own performance and our own positive vibe and our own how we feel because that affects how we turn up, how we train, how we do things. Now, we're going to read you just a, a little quote out of... Um, the 12 laws and it's one of my one of my favorite ones and it's from one of my heroes Muhammad Ali and Muhammad Ali said champions aren't made in gyms champions are made from something deep down inside them a desire a dream a vision now if we go back to what we spoke about yesterday in law one about inspiration you know about a top performance is an inspired performance so when you breathe in, remember inspiration is inspire is the breathe in energy that makes you want to do things. It inspires you to turn up in a certain way. If you couple that, if you join that into or join it with this whole concept of positive thinking or positive thoughts generate positive outcomes. We're, you're starting to take more responsibility for you how you turn up on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, it doesn't, remember, I say this all the time, it doesn't guarantee you anything. It doesn't say, if I do this, I'm guaranteed a win. I'm guaranteed to get the contract. What it does is, it guarantees that you'll have the best shot at it because your best self will turn up. And isn't that a wonderful gift to give yourself? that your people will see your best self because you're responsible and you're taking responsibility for your thinking your feelings now that's why can't you think positive the whole time because you can't really control your thoughts all the time thoughts come and go you know thoughts come and go the key is not to hook into the negative thoughts 
Or if you did do hook into them, let them go as quickly as you can and bring your mind back to what you're doing or something more useful for you as well. Okay, so do that little exercise and, and think about what can you let go of? You know, what what are the negative influences on your life? What How can you let go of that over a period of time? Eh? And how can you replace the negative influences or the negative habits or the negative thoughts with positive alternatives there? So have a great day and I'm looking forward to catch up with you the, the next time I'm on live. And oh, remember that if you want, this is, we'll be speaking today about the, from the 12 hidden laws of performance. And I've kind of finally got my act together last week and put the package together um, with 12 hidden laws of performance in digital format, talented unlimited, which is on growth mindset and soccer mindset as well. My third book with um, Dr. Cameron Stark, which is the practical application of mental skills in teams. And it's all the tools I used for all the teams and individuals I've worked with. So if you're wanting to be able to apply what we're talking about, grab uh, that package there and it's at Don Mark Book donmacbook.com and it's £27 for three of them as well so you get three books for £27 so have a great day